United Silken Carbide is excited to release the first four products of its fourth generation Silken Carbide FETs. These new devices will offer breakthrough performance and will lead Silken Carbide's march into the mainstream. Let's begin the discussion by looking at our existing product portfolio. This includes Silken Carbide Schottky diodes ranging from 650 to 1200 and 1700 volts. We also offer standalone normally on JFETs and a wide range of silicon carbide based normally off FETs. Our normally off FETs are high performance cascodes formed with optimized low voltage silicon MOSFETs and highly efficient silicon carbide depletion mode JFETs. We are now adding the new Gen 4 UJ4C series parts. These complement our existing Gen 3 products that currently offer the lowest on resistance discrete devices on the market today. These are offered in our 7 milliohm 650 volt and 9 milliohm 1200 volt TO247s. We offer a wide variety of through hole and surface mount discrete parts in a TO220, TO247, D2 pack 3 lead, D2 pack 7 lead, and DFN 8x8 package. The new fourth generation United Silicon Carbide FETs represent the highest performance technology on the market. The new Gen 4 FETs further advance our leadership position with best in class performance and key power switching figures of merit and RDS on per unit area, all while giving an extra 100 volts of blocking margin with the new 750 volt products. As with the full portfolio of United Silicon Carbide FETs, the parts offer a simple, versatile gate drive, excellent integral diode with low VF and low reverse recovery charge. We again maintain the integrated ESD gate protection. The parts are also offered at a high TJ Max of 175C rating and have been qualified to the AEC Q101 standard. United Silicon Carbide's Gen 4 FETs will offer users exciting new performance benchmarks while maintaining easy adoption and versatility that users have come to know with our previous generation switches. The Gen 4 release will expand our offerings to include 750 volts, which gives more headroom for fast switching and higher bus voltage. These parts are ideal for 400 and 500 volt bus applications. The new devices are simple to use and easily replace existing silicon switches. They're able to be driven with 0 to 12 or 0 to 15 volt gate drive with a true 5 volt threshold, providing good noise margin. The Gen 4 silicon carbide FETs are versatile. Their plus minus 20 volt maximum gate voltage is compatible with typical silicon carbide MOSFET, silicon IGBT, or silicon superjunction MOSFET gate drives. These new devices have the lowest on resistance per unit area of any switch technology in their class. This allows us to deliver lower on resistance products in all packages, whether it be through hole or surface mount. The new Gen 4 FETs offer improved reverse recovery charge and lower E on, E off for a given RDS on. Their extremely low output capacitance, namely COSS energy related and COSS time related, make them ideal for both hard switching and soft switching circuits. Their advanced wafer thinning technology, along with their high performance center die attach, provides improved thermal performance, which allows them to maintain good current ratings across the portfolio. The initial offerings for United Silicon Carbide's Gen 4 portfolio are 750 volt, 18 milliohm, and 60 milliohm FETs. These are initially offered in 3 lead TO247s and Kelvin source connected 4 lead TO247s. This is represented by the K3S and K4S designator on the part number. Like previous generations, the parts are rated to 175C max and have been qualified to AEC Q101 automotive standards. The parts offer a very low RDS on with a small die size. This small die size translates to very low capacitance and stored energy, which allows for lower switching losses and a lower effective reverse recovery when using their integral body diode. The parts have a low gate charge, which is dictated by the low voltage silicon control FET. This can put less stress on the gate driver when using them at high frequency. Despite the small die size, the low thermal resistance and high 
current handling capability is maintained by our advanced die attached technology. In the rest of this presentation, we'll highlight these advances in performance and see how they stack up with their silicon carbide peers, along with state of the art silicon superjunction. The primary reason we selected 750 volt rating for these new parts is to safely enable 500 volt bus applications. These parts are the first to be offered with this extra margin. And as we'll show for the rest of this presentation, they offer the best choice at 400 volt bus applications as well. These new 750 volt silicon carbide FETs will offer the best in class specific on resistance, even better than their 650 volt silicon carbide counterparts. Specific on resistance is a key figure of merit, showing the on resistance for a given die area. The 750 volt generation 4 devices offer a specific on resistance of the silicon carbide JFET of about 0.7 milliohm centimeters squared at room temperature, increasing by a little less than a factor of 2 at 125C. By comparison, the 650 volt silicon carbide MOSFETs typically range from 2.1 to 3.3 milliohm centimeters squared at room temperature and increase by about 15 to 30 percent at 125C. Therefore, the new Gen 4 series 750 volt parts can yield a substantially lower conduction loss for a given die size. This means that the fourth generation United Silicon Carbide FETs will further advance our ability to offer the lowest on resistance in any given package type. You may have noticed in the previous slide that the United Silicon Carbide FETs have a stronger temperature coefficient of on resistance than their peers. To understand why this is so, you have to consider the relative resistive contributions from each portion of the device. In the United Silicon Carbide FET, the normally off-channel region is formed from the low-voltage silicon MOSFET. It's well known that silicon MOSFETs have a near-ideal MOS interface, which offers very low on resistance. Meanwhile, in typical silicon carbide MOSFETs, the non-ideal inversion channel typically contributes a large portion of the total resistance, as depicted in the chart on the middle. The resistance component is inversely proportional to the number of free carriers in this layer. For a given gate bias, the number of these free carriers in the non-ideal channel increases with temperature, and the effective resistance associated with the channel of the silicon carbide MOSFET decreases. The rest of the layers, being the JFET region, the drift region, and the substrate resistance, increase with temperature, as would be expected with single carrier bulk conduction. So in essence, the flatness of the silicon carbide MOSFET's temperature coefficient of on resistance is a relative measure of how much extra resistance or how non-ideal the switch is. In the United Silicon Carbide FET, the temperature coefficient is stronger since the silicon carbide JFET, which dominates the total resistance, does not have an MOS inversion channel. And all regions are monotonically increasing in resistance as the bulk mobility decreases with temperature. While the increase of RDS on with temperature may be stronger, these devices offer lower on resistance across the whole useful temperature range. The 750 volt Gen 4 parts exhibit one third the specific on resistance of a 650 volt MOSFET at room temperature, but still maintain almost half the on resistance at 150C. This positive temperature coefficient makes them easy to parallel and their significant die size advantage yields lower stored charge. With their lower specific on resistance and smaller die size, the United Silicon Carbide FETs offer very low output capacitance, COSS, and the resulting energy stored in that capacitance, EOSS, which is dissipated in the device during hard switching. This energy stored in the output capacitance, EOSS, can be thought of as the minimum switching energy that must be dissipated during hard switching. The stored energy in the freewheeling device's COSS is dissipated in the active switch during turnoff. If we compare competing technologies using a hard switching figure of merit represented by RDS on times EOSS, then the 750 volt rated generation four silicon carbide FETs outperform their 650 volt competitors by almost 40 to 50%, even at elevated temperature. The new 750 volt FETs are also ideal for soft switching applications like those found in high frequency resonant converters. In these converters, the higher switching frequency 
allows a more compact system and the overall power density is improved. In this case, it's important to have both low conduction loss as well as a small output capacitance that can be charged up quickly even with low currents. The inset shown here depicts an example of an LLC turnoff where the discharging of the output capacitance can lead to long delay times, limiting the maximum usable frequency of the device. If we consider the figure of merit of RDSI times COSS time related, then one can see that the 750 volt United Silicon Carbide FETs offer substantially lower capacitance for a given on resistance than their silicon carbide competitors. The same is true of silicon superjunction, which we'll show in a later table. Another thing to note here is that the United Silicon Carbide FETs low gate charge and low required gate voltage can reduce the driver losses and lower their thermal stress in high frequency switching applications. It's also beneficial to have a low VF of the body diode if more frequent dead time conduction is present. They also have the benefit of low reverse recovery losses in case soft switching is ever lost. Much like our generation three silicon carbide FETs, the new devices offer a superior integral diode. The integral diode of United Silicon Carbide FETs is formed from the low voltage silicon MOSFETs body diode with its low knee voltage of 0.7 volts and the low on resistance of the silicon carbide JFET conducting in the third quadrant. Since the conventional silicon carbide MOSFETs integral diode is formed with a silicon carbide PN junction, they tend to have a large knee voltage of about 2.6 volts and a resultingly larger VF of their overall integral diode. In the fourth generation devices that we show here, their lower on resistance per unit area results in a lower total charge. And this lower charge manifests itself as a lower reverse recovery charge, QRR, than our previous generation products. United Silicon Carbide FETs have a shocky like reverse recovery characteristic that are nearly temperature independent. Here, we briefly illustrate the body diode and third quadrant IV characteristics of the 750 volt 18 milliohm generation 4 United Silicon Carbide FET. Note that just like in our previous generation FETs, synchronous operation can further reduce the conduction losses in the third quadrant by turning on the gate. It is also noted that unlike many silicon carbide MOSFETs, the integral diode IV characteristics are unchanged with negative gate drive voltage. Here, the VGS equals zero volt and VGS equals minus five volt curves are indistinguishable at room temperature in 175C. In this chart, we're comparing the new highest performance generation four series United Silicon Carbide FETs to our existing offerings in the same class. Let's look at the new 18 milliohm UJ4C 0750-18K3S compared to our Gen 3 general purpose UJ3C and our Gen 3 high-speed UF3C 650 volt 27 milliohm products in the same TO247 three lead package. The new parts offer an additional 100 volts of rating and a lower on resistance from 25C up to the typical use temperature of 125C. As mentioned previously, the device offers a lower QRR of 112 nanocoulombs compared to the fast series part at 192 coulombs or the soft switching ease of use UJ3C product at 580 nanocoulombs. In the table, we also compare the total switching losses measured with a 400 volt bus and 50 amps at 125C. The measurements were taken in a half ridge with the same device as the device under test in the freewheeling position for each test. It's noted that in the results shown, the switching of the new Gen 4 parts and the UF3C fast parts were both optimized using a 5 ohm 330 picofarad device number, and the snubber cloth is included in the total. For the UJ3C general purpose product, the device switching was optimized by tuning an external gate resistance. As is recommended in the product data sheet, the Gen 4 FET is driven with 0 volts to 15 volts gate drive. You can see the outstanding performance of the Gen 4 products with a very low switching loss of 885 microjoules when switched with 50 amps 400 volts. A slight increase in the thermal resistance is shown. This stems from the die size reduction of the Gen 4 devices. The reduction in QOSS is also illustrated with a total charge at 400 volts of 113 nanocoulombs 
compared to the 192 nanocoulombs from the existing UF3C or UJ3C products. The 18 milliohm and 60 milliohm TO247-3 lead and TO247-4 lead are now released, and we will further expand our portfolio of the Gen 4 products in 2021. As the fast switching enabled by wideband gap devices has been adopted, the proliferation of Kelvin source connected packages is accelerating. In the TO247-4 lead, faster switching and cleaner gate waveforms can be achieved by eliminating the source inductance of the power lead from the gate source loop with the source Kelvin pin. To this end, we offer the new Gen 4 high performance 750 volt, 18 milliohm and 60 milliohm silicon carbide FETs in TO247-4 lead packages. The turn on and turn off waveforms shown in this chart illustrate the UJ4C75018K4S when switched from 50 amps to 400 volts with a 0 volt to 15 volt gate drive. The device is switched with a small 1 ohm external gate resistance and a 10 ohm 300 picofarad device number. Note the fast switching, modest overshoot, absence of any undamped ringing, and very clean gate wave waveforms. In this table, we show the switching loss obtained with the 4-lead K4S part compared to the same device in a 3-lead K3S package when switched under similar conditions. The total switching loss of 525 microjoules is obtained, enabled by reductions in both turn-on and turn-off losses. If we summarize all of these performance figures of merits in one radar chart, we can easily visualize the new Gen 4 750 volt United Silicon Carbide FETs performance advantages compared to their 650 volt Silicon Carbide competitors. In the radar chart, better is represented by being closer to the center, and each of the competing device figure of merit values are normalized to that of the Gen 4 United Silicon Carbide FETs. With their substantially lower RDSA conduction loss figure of merit, better hard and soft switching figures of merit, Along with a superior integral diode, the new Gen 4 silicon carbide FETs truly offer best-in-class performance. If we now benchmark our new 750 volt devices against the best-in-class 600-650 volt silicon superjunction with fast or standard recovery diodes, a few key points jump out at us. The Generation 4 devices can easily be used in hard switching applications because the QRR is vastly superior to that of silicon superjunction. Because of their poor diode recovery, silicon superjunction devices are actually rarely used for continuous mode hard switching. Therefore, for totem pole PFC circuits, these Gen 4 devices are superior. If we also look at the on-resistance times COSS figures of merit, it's clear that much higher frequencies can be achieved using our new Gen 4 devices. The same case can be made for the gate charge when running at high frequencies. And I'll remind you that the same gate drive can be used. They can be driven from 0 to 10 volt or 0 to 12 volt gate drive and have a full 5 volt threshold voltage. When one looks at this radar chart, it becomes clear that United Silicon Carbide's Gen 4 750 volt devices are clearly marching into mainstream. With these performance advantages, including low RDS on, and compatible simple gate drives, along with cost competitiveness, United Token Carbide FETs are poised to compete well in the mid to high end space currently occupied by Superjunction. The new 750 volt Gen 4 United Token Carbide FETs are sure to improve efficiency, cut losses, and improve cost competitiveness in high growth applications such as automotive onboard chargers and DC DC converters. IT infrastructure space such as PFC and DC DC converters, solar inverters, and energy storage. Look for the expanded Gen 4 portfolio in 2021 with the release of the lowest RDS on and highest switching frequency devices across various packaging platforms. Thank you from the whole team at United Silicon Carbide.